Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Shan with your inspirational and motivational moments. If you like this channel, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe and also hit that bell so you'll get notifications on every time that I post a video on this channel. So today's topic guys is holding on to pain. What pain are you holding on to? It's time to let that pain go and grow. So uh, oftentimes we are holding on to pain that happened to us in our past. And when we hold on to this pain, it causes us to stay stuck. You know, it stunts our growth. A lot of times we stay depressed, angry, sad, hurt, frustrated. Um, we stay bitter. So it is very important that we find the strength within us and we dig deep, grab that wound and you take that wound out and you deal with that pain. And once you deal with that pain, find forgiveness in your heart, let it go. And then you will move on, then move on with your life. And then you will start to see a grow. And I know this firsthand because growing up for me, it was very tough. I grew up in a household where it was a lot of fussing and it was a, a lot of yelling. It was no peace. Ever. So because I was holding on to so much pain, it caused me to deal with depression big time. I was depressed for years. Um, I stayed sad. Um, I felt lonely a lot. I felt like no one cared for me. I felt like I was just this little girl on this earth and I didn't have no one to turn to. I had no one to talk to. I had no one to tell how I was feeling because I felt like no one cared. So because I was feeling this and I was so hurt and I was holding on to so much stuff, so much stuff, it caused me to start drawing blood for myself. I would go into the bathroom and, bathroom and lock myself in the bathroom. And I would just, sometimes I would get a brush and I would just beat myself, beat myself until I seen bruises and blood. That would make me feel better. Sometimes I would just scratch myself. Sometimes with my fingernails, sometimes with a comb or whatever. I would just scratch myself. And once I seen scratch marks and blood that will make me feel better and some you know people do all kind of things to make their se themselves feel better when they are holding on to so much pain on the inside some people turn to drugs and alcohol you know some people they indulge in work working because they know if they sit down and take a break they their mind is going to start thinking about it, all this stuff that has happened to them. So some people, they have to keep going. They have to stay on the go because they don't want to deal with what's really going on. And so, you know, growing up for me, I, you know, I was very, I was a very depressed girl. You know, I was a very angry girl. Um, so it caused me to lash out on people. You know, I was dealing with some people that I probably wouldn't have dealt with had I, you know, been a little different <laughs> had I dealt with my pain earlier, you know, so it wasn't until I was in my late twenties, um, in 2015, that is when my life started to change. You know, I just, I knew that I had a problem. I knew that I was depressed and I was so angry and I was so mad at the world because I was still angry about what happened to me in my past. I was still angry at the people that hurt me the most in my past. So that's why I was acting out. And one day I went to the doctor because I would have mood swings. One day I was happy and the next day I was sad. One day I was like very just jolly and the next day I was very angry. So I went to the doctor and I was telling my doctor all these things. And she looked at me and she said, you are bipolar. And I said, no, I'm not. I'm not bipolar. I wasn't willing to claim that. And she tried to put me on medication. I said, no, I'm not taking this stuff because I'm not bipolar. I know what's going on with me. 
you know, that I, that's when I started to recognize what was wrong with me. And all that was wrong with me is I was carrying my past with me. And in 2015 is when I recognized it and I was willing to deal with it. And I started to pray and I was asking God to help me because I knew I couldn't get through that alone. I knew I couldn't let go of all that pain by myself. I knew that I needed God's help. So I would ask God to just help me, help me. I would ask God to reveal to me what it is that I am holding on to that I know I'm the some I may not know. And once I start to pray and ask God and talk to God and tell God how angry I was and how hurt I was and contemplating suicide. Once I was honest with God and I was willing to do my work, that is when God stepped in. God showed me what was going on with me. He showed me who I was angry at, why I was angry, and I dealt with it. I dealt with it. And I'm here to tell you only until you deal with what's going on inside you, you're not going to move. I wasn't moving. I was going around in circles and I got tired of it. I got tired of going around in circles. I got tired of being angry all the time. I got tired of lashing out at people. I got tired of being depressed. And I had three children at that time. If I was no good for myself, I couldn't be a good mother to them. So I had to think about not only myself, but I had to think about my children. So I did the work and it was hard. I'm telling you, it was hard, but I did what I needed to do because I was ready for change. Don't resist change. Change you. It's good for all of us. Don't resist it. So once I started to deal with what was going on inside of me, that is when God started to speak to me more, speak to me in my dreams. God started to reveal himself to me. And that's when I started to, God just started to bless me. Blessings here, blessings there, everywhere. I was moving. I mean, he was showing out. And I said, wow, I could have been there years ago. But because I was holding on to what happened to me in my past, I was just stuck. So it is time to deal with what's going on inside of you. It's time to get the strength. You are strong enough to do it because you have a purpose here on this. If you didn't have a purpose, you wouldn't have woke up this morning. God wouldn't have woke you up this morning. So it's time to deal with what's going on inside of you. And only when you deal with that, you will not move. You will not grow. So deal with what's going on. Let it go. You are strong enough for this. And, you know, something I had to learn is being angry with the people that has hurt me in my past. That wasn't hurting them. It was hurting me. It was stunting my growth. It was stopping my blessings. I wasn't able to move forward. Not them. So that's why it's important for us to always forgive those who have done wrong by us. Because if you don't, you're not going to get God's blessings for you. Do your work. It is time to do your work. It's time to change what is going on with you. You don't want to stay stuck at that age that you was with whatever happened to you. Deal with it. It's time to grow and it's time to go. God is waiting on you. God don't want his children to be angry all the time, to be hurt. He don't want that for you. He wants to bless you. He wants to do all these wonderful things for you. But you have to do your work and allow God, bring God in so he can help you. So that you can change what is going on with you. 
If I can do it, so can you. God loves us all. We are all his children. God know you hurting, but when are you going to go to God and tell him that you are hurting? When are you going to go to God and ask him to help you to get through whatever is going on with you? Let it go because it's time for you to grow. It is time for you to start walking in your purpose. This world needs you. That's why you're here. So let go of whatever is going on inside of you. You are strong enough. You are brave enough. You can do it. I love you. God loves you. That's all I have for today. I pray that this video blesses someone that is going through so much because they are holding on to what happened to them in their past. They're holding all that stuff in. Deal with that stuff. Let it go. And it's time to grow. I love you guys. God loves you. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.